All right, hi everyone. Now welcome to this webinar on how to complete your data picture by integrating Temple and Easy BI. And with that, uh, let's get started. Uh, my name is Olaf Kristiansdottir and I'm the marketing director here at Temple. I've been with the company for four years now. And I'm very pleased to welcome to this webinar our guest from Easy BI, Janis Plume. And with us here today, we also have Alex Andreak from Tempo, who is a product expert, and Daniel Scott, our director of product marketing. And a big welcome to you all. all. I'm glad to have you here today. Maybe if we start with a short introduction, Janis, would you mind going first? Yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. So my name is Janis. I'm working for EasyBI support team. I work there for three and a half years. And I have previous experience with, um, with project management, quality management uh, areas. And in EasyBI, I also take a responsibility for more, more, better, more deeper knowledge about integration with Tempo. And I'm happy to share my, the ideas, what, what you can do with EasyBI and Tempo. Perfect, thank you. And Alexander? So, hello everyone. And uh, I'm really, really pleased that uh, we finally have this webinar with EasyBI. So we have been talking about this for a long, long time. Um, and we, I have been knowing Janis for, for a long, long time. So I have been here for Tempo, Tempo now for nearly five years. Uh, first on the customer facing side and now as a product expert. And I'm very pleased and uh, to have Janis here. And I'm very excited for the webinar today. Thank you. Great, uh, Daniel, maybe we can all turn our cameras on for a little bit and people can see us, see your faces. Yep, thank you, Olaf. Um, Daniel Scott, I'm the Director of Product Marketing here at Tempo. Uh, not been at the company that long, um, but I have been in this industry, in this space for around 20 years now. Um, so I know just enough to be dangerous um, and I'm uh, very much looking forward to this webinar. Great to have our partners easy beyond the call. And thank you also so much for joining. Looking forward to this. Perfect. Before we turn our cameras off, I'll go through the agenda. We'll start with a short introduction about Tempo and the benefits of integrations. Um, before I hand it over to Janis, who will walk you through some of the key aspects of EasyBI and how to integrate it with Tempo and, and actually demonstrate it, how to use the tools together. And finally, we will round out the session with a Q&A. And with that, I will hand it over to Daniel. And I'm going to turn off my camera. I'll see you at the other end. Great, thank you, Olaf, uh, for that introduction. Um, so as perhaps people on the webinar know, uh, Tempo is the market leader in time tracking solutions. And our, our suite of products includes uh, timesheets, Tempo Planner, uh, cost tracker for Tempo timesheets, and also Tempo Budget. So we've been around since, I think, about 2007. Uh, and some of you may already know Tempo quite well uh, and have already experienced how our tools give you and your team what you need to efficiently manage your time tasks and your projects. Others here may be new to Tempo and are looking for guidance on how to integrate Tempo reports into your invoicing process, for example. So we hope we'll not only be able to show you how to set everything up, but also give you an insight into how you can leverage Tempo business intelligence solutions, uh, such as EasyBI, for better decision making. So here are just some of the 20,000 plus customers who currently benefit from using Tempo. We have customers who range from small consultant agencies to some of the world's most prestigious brands as per the slide on the screen. So as more and more companies rely on software development as a key factor in their strategy and success, it becomes increasingly important to track time spent on R&D and development. And whether you're big or small, if you're invoicing your customers, you don't need me to tell you that uh, tracking time accurately is, is really essential. And when it comes to integrated reporting, we're fortunate to work with some truly excellent partners, um, but uh, more of that in a, in, a, in a little bit. So when it comes to our ecosystem, um, as I'm sure everybody knows, companies typically don't just rely on a single app to build out core functionality. Most software vendors, ourselves included, spend years designing and developing software to meet specific use cases for our customers who can then mix and match best of breed applications to suit their business priorities. What's more, customers are able to course correct, changing their application set to address shifting priorities, to perhaps address competitive issues, add new functionality, solve a pain point, and, and so on. 
And from a deployment perspective, cloud apps can be implemented very quickly with minimal disruption and often in a, a self-service model for our customers. And finally, from Tempo's perspective, sorry, we invest thousands of man hours every year ensuring our products and services are as good as they can possibly be, sharing best practice with our customers and also providing responsive support. So there are really many benefits to operating a, an integrated solution set comprised of these best of breed applications working seamlessly in concert. And, and here are just a few on this slide. So when it comes to the productivity of your employees, you can benefit from integrating your system in, in two ways, automating various processes, such as invoicing, financial consolidation, et cetera, enables you to boost the productivity of your existing employees and also limit the need for new hires. Integrated systems can have a huge impact on your overall sales. Also, data connectivity, for example, across all of your departments is a great way to boost results as it's easier to use one system for customers and your employees and partners also. And there's a reason why data is so popular nowadays as it allows you to analyze every decision your business makes and catch every mistake where possible. Having data centralized in one location not only gives you more accurate results more readily, it also allows you to save on, on storage space across multiple systems. And after having your systems integrated, cost reduction can be met at every phase of all your business processes. However, the, the greatest increase in your profits is really a result of you making better, more accurate and more timely decisions. So thanks to automating a lot of these tasks, your team can focus on gaining new customers, uh, developing new skills, which will allow your business to grow more rapidly. And finally, basing timely informed decisions on outdated information can really have damaging consequences. So when your reports on performance across sales, finance, and service departments, for example, are not integrated, it can take hours to acquire this information manually, which still then may not be accurate and up to date. So constant data connectivity ensures all your employees are well informed and base their decisions on up to date, oh, sorry, up to the minute data accessible from anywhere at any time. System integration really minimizes the risks and enables you to make critical decisions based on the latest accurate information. So with that, I'll hand proceedings back to Olaf, who will launch the poll of the day. Olaf, over to you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Daniel. Yes, we want to, before I hand it over to EasyBI, we want to launch the poll of the day. And we would very much appreciate it if people take the time to answer. So the question that we have is, what reporting tool are you currently using the most? Maybe it is Excel, uh, maybe it is Tableau, Easy BI even, uh, Power BI, um, or some other tool. And we would, yeah, please take some time to respond, and we'll give you a minute or so. Um, and if you haven't taken the time to respond, you can go ahead and do that now. And we're very curious to see if maybe you're on Excel and thinking about uh, taking the next step to a more advanced uh, reporting system. Maybe you're already familiar with Easy BI and, and you're here to learn a bit more. And so let me see if we have, I think most people have um, actually responded. So I'm just going to go ahead and close the poll and I'm gonna go ahead and share the results. So Daniel, maybe you can confirm that you can see the results. I sure can. Yeah, I see 84% uh, of people have voted. So thank you very much for that. Yep, do we really do appreciate that. A nice mix of people that uh, are on Excel and um, are you familiar with EasyBI as well. Maybe Yanis, uh, what do you think of this um, this split in the audience? Yeah, it is very, very interesting to see this Excel part. And I, I believe this, my, uh, this for the presentation might benefit for both those larger groups of EasyBI users, which are already thanks to them, and for those who still use Excel. So uh, we can uh, maybe provide some, some insights how to, how to maybe do something in another way. Exactly. We really want to make things easy and automated as much as possible. And it's it's good to be able to leverage the different tools in the Atlassian ecosystem to manage that. Okay, perfect. So thank yeah. you so much, everyone who participated. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the results. And with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Yanis, who's gonna walk us through more of the secrets of Easy BI. So I'll go ahead and do it here. Um, yeah, here, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, 
to everyone who attended this webinar. Thank you for filling this poll. And uh, yeah, I wanted to say once again, I'm very pleased to meet people interested in how EasyBI could help to have a better insight into your data and especially the data originating from the different Tempo apps. I, I wanted also to say thank you to our friends from the Tempo team for, for the idea of this webinar and for inviting us to participate. And uh, well, I will give in my slides uh, an overview of what you can expect from EasyBI app. When using it with the Tempo data, I believe it will be useful both for EasyBI users and, and those who are not yet. Uh, so uh, my presentation will split up in three topics. I will start by uh, giving a background about EasyBI and Tempo integration. Uh, then we will have a look on uh, some examples of different visualization options uh, of Tempo data that you can do with EasyBI. Uh, this is a part where EasyBI um, uh, is, uh, differs from what you have, can have in Tempo reports. And uh, then we'll go in uh, a bit more details and see a couple of use cases, how to implement those in, in EasyBI, and a short live demo, how to dig deeper in your data using EasyBI. Uh, well, the first question might be uh, why, why anyone would need uh, EasyBI app or similar app. So uh, the answer here is that Jira is uh, extremely universal tool you know, with a rich ecosystem around it. And, and it gathers data from, from almost any activity of our daily work. And, uh, and uh, the important part now is to, to provide tools for having better insight in, in this huge amount of data. And, and then that is where EasyBI can help you. And we feel from the popularity of our app that this is a very useful extension of Atlassian ecosystem. Uh, because EasyBI is a business intelligence tool for data analysis and visualization. And um, EasyBI provides a, a built-in Jira and Confluence integration. Uh, the integration means that EasyBI apps provide users with the data warehouse type of reporting system to analyze the Jira data. And uh, it allows to make complex and flexible reports and create those reports in many cases in a simple manner and let them work efficiently on your environment. Uh, EasyBI is available for Jira Cloud Server and uh, Data Center. And uh, yeah, we have app for Jira and uh, it is still a fresh new app for EasyBI for Confluence. And you can analyze with EasyBI app also uh, data from Confluence recently. And here you can see the overview of uh, uh, how EasyBI works. And uh, this is a typical workflow of how EasyBI is used. Uh, you have data in your Jira, Jira apps in Confluence, or maybe some data that is not yet in Jira. So uh, first step, EasyBI imports data from these systems into EasyBI. You can do it once, you can trigger manually, you can schedule regular data updates. And uh, that is the process to prepare the data in the structures that are optimized for analytics and for, for reporting needs. Uh, then in EasyBI, you are provided with, you can explore the data, play around it and build reports using uh, provided building blocks here. We call those dimensions and measures. Uh, and that is typical data warehouse concepts. Uh, and many reports with those building blocks can be created with uh, drag and drop, but there are uh, uh, advanced features for also very specific report, reporting use cases. And when you have come up with this uh, report, so you can share it with Thank your you. uh, colleagues. Uh, you, you may publish report in EasyBI. You can uh, share it with your uh, partners, with customers, with uh, uh, management. You may um, publish them uh, on, on other apps. You can include those on, on some other web pages. 
You can let them uh, show up on large screens in your meeting rooms. Uh, and users can even subscribe to the dashboards and receive reports in their mailboxes on the planet schedule. So there are a lot of possibilities to, to share the uh, reports from EasyBI. EasyBI for Jira supports integration with several most popular apps on the Matlassian marketplace. And integrations means that the standard data model is extended further with even more additional building blocks to support data from those apps. So you can report on Jira software data, uh, different day reports about sprints. You can report on SLAs coming from the Jira service desk. You can show the Jira portfolio hierarchies. Uh, uh, we have the DevOps part. Uh, but the most uh, the, the very, very important part is this integration with the third party apps, like some testing apps, and of course, Tempo. Tempo is the most popular apps from you know, the Atlassian marketplace. So, but we can have also, in, we have an integration with the asset management insight and we can uh, support some uh, scripted custom fields and uh, so on. Uh, so now let us have a look on more details uh, on how EasyBI integration with Tempo apps uh, works. Yeah, EasyBI support integration with two apps of Tempo, Tempo Timesheets, the integration was present for a long time already, but the Tempo Planner is still a, a brand new feature, which was available on cloud for some time, but now also for, for the server app, starting from EasyBI version 6.1. 6 so if you have version 6.1, you can import also Tempo Planning data in EasyBI. Uh, the only preparation task to enable the Tempo data to be imported uh, is to select a couple of checkboxes. You can see here that you can uh, select the billed hours. You can uh, uh, select which Tempo timesheet workload attributes you wish to process, and you can select the period uh, for how many, how much you wash, uh, planning data you wish to have in Easy BI. And also you can have, um, we support Tempo custom fields and you can check which ones you wish to have in your uh, uh, Easy BI data model. And once you do that, after the data import, uh, you can see those uh, those building blocks. You, you can report on Tempo accounts, on, on Tempo teams. You can have the planned or billed hours reports. Uh, uh, this picture doesn't, uh, show the and the timesheet reports but uh, it is still present there believe me uh, so the, it is a, even a bit better integrated in 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 easy bi data model and and it can be used for all all the needed reports so uh, now let us have a look on the uh, visualization options of easy bi and uh, uh, so uh, EasyBI provides a lot of chart types for 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 the visualization, uh, and I created here. You can see a screenshot of my dashboard. Uh, I created that in EasyBI for covering different chart types and show how those can be used to show data from Tempo apps in EasyBI. And I try to cover all the main chart types. And now let us have a look how how they work and how they are created. Mm. First to mention is this table view, and that is the default outlook of the report, which is visible for users when they start designing your, the reports with EasyBI. And it is always recommended to tune the report in the table view before applying any other or better looking chart type in, in EasyBI. Uh, sometimes table view is, Exactly is exactly what you actually need uh, because the table view has several useful uh, visualization options that can make look your table uh, both attractive and very informative. In, in my example, I applied cell formatting and totals here uh, to to indicate the underreported or overreported days for each user uh, uh, and total per week. I also used here the filter on time, current week. This is a 
and dynamic filter which automatically adjusts to the day when you open your report so you can have current week and report on current week uh, to show up always for the current week in a table report you can also compare different uh, measures and visualize the difference with custom formatted cell contents here you can see that uh, i included the the uh, custom custom characters and custom coloring to show the differences of plan deviation from uh, our span from from the planet hours yeah but uh, uh, perhaps the most popular type of charts is the bar chart and line chart and, uh, those are very often used in reports and we also uh, recommend to use them because they can cover a, a lot of different use cases and here i have a simple bar chart uh, of planet versus actual hours uh, on monthly report uh, the contents of this chart is similar uh, to what you can achieve in tempo reports well perhaps this uh, visualization is is uh, uh, different uh, but uh, in EasyBI, the same bar chart can be tuned further by adding more, more, uh, more dimensions and drilling more in more details. So in my case, I added, uh, I, I added issue type here, and uh, actually I drilled down the hours spent by issue type, and uh, to show. You know, some more insight in why my plans are overrun here. I uh, indicated this uh, hour spent on bugs uh, in the red color. So perhaps this is the reason why plans are overrun, that we have not planned uh, properly uh, how to uh, the time for, for, for our bug fixing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, ECBI is not only for reporting on hours. Uh, you can combine a lot of other measures and dimensions with the hours uh, for uh, some completely new insights into your data. Uh, for example, uh, I, I can add the resolved issues as one more measure on my report, and the same chart gets more insight in the progress of what happened in our project here. This uh, green line represents the uh, issues resolved during the respective month. Uh, yeah, as you can see, bar chart allows combining both bars, both uh, lines. Well, there are um, even uh, even more options, and I will show some of them uh, later in some more examples. Uh, well, yeah, Easy BI allows uh, that uh, switching between different outlooks of the reports and table reports can be switched easily to pie charts to show the percentages of the each value from total. So here, uh, in my example, I have a table view with a single column where uh, hours are shown by account, tempo account, and I can convert it to respective pie chart with a single click by selecting the pie chart view on, on this, this selection. Uh, well, another use case is to show similar data uh, as the gauge chart. If we have the hours budget per account, we can figure such a report to show up as a gauge chart uh, and show how far we are from our budget. Well, here each account shows the, the, uh, how far it is from the budget. Perhaps this use case can be as well covered with the bar chart, but, uh, but this is to illustrate how gauges also can work. Creating some of the charts in EasyBA is based on, on intuitive conventions, some intuitive conventions allowing to easier switch between uh, different chart types. Uh, for instance, I have created a table report uh, with the issue list and collected the date of when planning uh, is started for the ticket and uh, when, the, uh, when the planning uh, uh, data is, uh, is finished. So here I have two, two date fields and one uh, calculation of the progress of the issues or how far how much of the plans are now uh, spent. And once I have such, uh, such, uh, uh, such columns, I can, uh, I can switch this table to, uh, to, to Gantt chart 
And uh, this uh, convention automatically takes the two dates as the range for the column of gun chart and uh, the percentage calculation at the progress indicator of, of that row. So the gun chart now can show uh, also different time periods. So I can uh, uh, drill it deeper to the weekly level. And yeah, you can have also yearly or, or you can have the option that will fit the width of your report. That are main uh, types of charts, which are usually uh, sufficient for most of use cases. But now I will continue with a couple of more uh, specific cases to illustrate the uh, features of EasyBI and Tempo data. Uh, first, we will see how to create a burn up chart from only having the timesheets and planned hours. Then we'll have a look on how to build the reports, allowing to compare the input versus output of teams and drill down this data uh, even to, to individuals. And finally, I will switch to a short live demo and we'll take one report uh, and, and play around it with a little bit to show how to drill into details. Different kind of uh, burn up or, or burn down charts become popular from, from the agile world. So you can, this is uh, uh, originally, uh, usually sprint reports are shown as a burn downs, but, but the same idea can be uh, used with the planet and actual hours. In fact, uh, that can be just another visualization of the planet versus actual hours. And let me show how to build such a report in Easy BI. Well, as always, I start with the table where I collect the needed measures for the contents of my report. I use the weak level uh, of time dimension and add the standard measures of hours spent and planned hours. Uh, I also create a custom formula for new measure giving the overall total of planned over, over for the project for uh, all the periods. The idea is to use this as the total plan in my report to show the threshold of the planned hours. And so I intend to use again the bar chart for EasyBI. And, and once I switch this report uh, and select proper uh, visualization, so the chart looks like that. Uh, uh, well, this is uh, uh, this is not yet a burn up chart. Yeah, uh, we need uh, to do a couple more things to to finalize it. Uh, yeah, Easy BI allows creating uh, custom calculations with formulas, but there are uh, several uh, useful standard calculations which you can quickly create on top of existing. And the cumulative sum is uh, is one of such options. And in this example, I. Uh, applied cumulative for the planet and uh, spent hours and got my burn up chart for uh, yeah and that is the excellent overview of how actual hours deviate from plans and how it uh, can reach and will it uh, reach or will it uh, exceed the the total total planet hours in in my project so uh, that is a new burn up chart from from tempo planet and actual hours Another uh, use case is about, uh, uh, yeah, uh, perhaps more about management you know, because reporting is almost always needed for different management activities. And uh, one of critical things is to compare the input effort to the results of the activities. And I had such a, a chart earlier in the slides, and here it is again showing the hours spent versus uh, resolved. Uh, resolved issues yeah? and we can judge from this report if the effort spent is justified with the number of uh, of resolved tasks uh, well note that for showing the measures with different units uh, you should uh, those should be represented on separate axes in, in the chart and the scale on the right is for the resolved issues but on the left it is the, those are hours what else we can do here uh, so uh, first, we can change it uh, to another other uh, representation. Uh, we can switch it to the bubble. Here I have uh, uh, done that. Such switching is, is very straightforward. And uh, this uh, bubble chart utilizes one more convention that two measures 
uh, from the report will be automatically converted in the bubble chart. And now the, and the hours spent uh, are on the uh, left, left side axis, but the size of bubble now represents the uh, number of resolved issues during that month. We can further develop the same idea of the efficiency reporting and perhaps we might wish to have the pre-calculated efficiency rates for our teams. And here we can use the, uh, the powerful feature of EZBI for creating the custom formulas. I have a small example of formula giving the ratio of hours to, uh, to resolve the issues. And, that might be a reasonable efficiency measure in many cases. And uh, in this simple example of the formula, uh, but the language has many more functions to cover almost any complexity in your custom calculations. And now I can create a report with three separate axes and show all the overspend, the resolved issues, and, and also my ratio. Uh, uh, on, on each on separate axis. So on the X axis, this is in my case, different teams in which here are uh, different projects. So you can see a huge deviation uh, uh, between them. We may need to check what happens there. And the same can be done even in at the individual level. So, and depending on the workflow, it is possible to count the resolved issues by user and apply a calculation for each user and have a report like this. Yeah. This is perhaps the most punitive report ever seen. So uh, that uh, we can see each user's performance in, in so clear way. And I am already a bit afraid about Adam here. So, but let's hope everything will be fine. And yeah, it is very useful to have static reports uh, where all interested parties can find uh, the insights uh, they need, but EasyBI is not only for that. You can use EasyBI for exploring your data, find some outliers or, or other root causes of the deviation. And let me show uh, a short demo of how to do that. Now can see my dashboard from which I started my presentation and I will play a bit with one of those reports I had in my uh, in, in my dashboard. Here is the monthly report of uh, ours planet versus actual. And I now it is November already and I can see that my hours by the plans are uh, um, exceeded already and I I am curious to know what happened with my plans during November and so for that I may check what are those issues on which uh, the planet hours are planned during November I can see the list of four issues and I'm, next I want to see is uh, how is the status of each of those issues and I add here a resolution and expand it to the specific resolutions and see a quite a satisfying picture that three of my four issues uh, planned for November are resolved already. And for perhaps for a better insight, I uh, may join again our spend and see here, uh, uh, something strange already that one issue which has never been planned for November has 70 hours spent. So, and I can do even uh, deeper, dig it deeper and check uh, who was that person who reported uh, uh, so many hours on, on, uh, on uh, November, uh, November. So, and call David to have a talk with him. And yeah, we can check uh, issue by issue, see the deviations by, by, by plans. And uh, yeah, we can see good news that some issues are resolved with less than planned or some which are uh, 
exceeding significantly plans and here we can have one more uh, uh, feature for checking more details is the drill through workloads and have a list of all the workloads uh, which are uh, during that month for for that issue so if we need still excel we can uh, export it back to excel and perhaps do uh, some other uh, other analysis there so yeah that is how how uh, it is possible to explore your data explore your your uh, hours report uh, reported hours and and uh, check some uh, some mm, mm, details about about what happening in your project that was that was what i planned to show for today and uh, thanks for for uh, uh, your attention you are welcome to uh, to post your questions or if you don't have any questions now you can go to our community page and to or or contact our support for further questions perfect thank you so much janis i think everyone should see my slides now and well, that was perfect thank you for a very detailed and, and uh, insightful presentation we'll move into q a um we'll open up for questions please use the question pane on the GoToWebinar side panel to add your question and we'll try to get through as many as we can if we don't get to your question fear not we will respond to you via email uh, after the webinar um, but let me see what we have here mm -hmm. This. All right, first question, uh, Yanis, I believe this one is for you. For doing analysis for Confluence, do you need to buy EasyBI for Confluence or having it in Jira will be enough? Uh, and, and, and yeah, and, and, yeah, this uh, app for Confluence is a separate app and, and you need to, to buy this new app uh, for for having analysis on confluence data you can uh, uh, analyze this uh, page uh, page uh, statistics uh, and, and uh, many other uh, we also do recommend this confluence app for for um, uh, uh, when you wish to in, embed easy bi reports on on uh, on confluence pages from jira yeah that has better integration with 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 the easy bi app uh, from Jira for Jira. So yeah, but uh, the short answer is yes. It is a another app, and, and it must be uh, must be bought uh, separately. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, so here's a question from someone who is trialing EasyBI, and they need some specific reporting for them and their colleagues, and they're actually struggling to produce it, and they're lacking some skills uh, to create it. Is there a service that you provide to create a custom report on their behalf that they can then later use as a template? So what does EasyBI have uh, to offer in that regard? Uh, yeah, we, will, we, we actually do not provide uh, uh, consulting services uh, to create custom reports. We know that some specific reports uh, have uh, more complexity and requires uh, higher steeper learning uh, for uh, for for implementing them uh, but uh, we do, uh, do do suggest uh, contacting the uh, the uh, support for 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 giving guidance on uh, how to implement uh, specific things uh, what else we can suggest is uh, uh, trying out to search for for the response in our community page or check our demo account where we have a lot of examples for 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 different different uh, use cases yeah that is what we can can uh, mm -hmm. suggest in this case great uh, here's a, another question that maybe you, Yanis, want to take as well. Otherwise, uh, Alexander, feel free to jump in. It's related to temple budgets. Is there a way to report on temple budgets data through EasyBI? Uh, and yeah, this is also a, a short answer that, that unfortunately, no. We are still gathering the customer uh, interest on, on uh, how to 
to, to integrate uh, if, if, if there are uh, enough uh, requests for that we, we will we might consider to implementing that uh, for, for uh, also for this tempo budget up so but uh, fortunately uh, there is not for not not that not possible and uh, those workarounds that easy provides also might, might not be uh, might not be sufficient for for analyzing the tempo budget data with EZBI. Okay, thank you. Yeah, maybe I, uh, I want maybe to jump into that as well because I, I find it very interesting that this question comes also up not only from one person, so there there is a multiple request on that. I have talked about that to Janis also before because uh, I, I've seen that uh, that there's a lot of requests from that. But Janis, correct me if I'm wrong. A, a slight um, workaround would be to export first the data into the into a csv file correct and and we you could also import data from a csv file that would be uh, something to do, right yeah yes yes that is the workaround but uh, th this workaround had uh, some shortages uh, because uh, we cannot periodize this uh, this data uh, to, to show it correctly so uh, on time dimension sorry for so for additional details but 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 uh, this is a workaround but but it's partial workaround yeah mm, okay i understand thank you okay and i don't know if alexander you want to uh, start with this one it's a question about uh, data from big picture how the three tools work together if you want to report on planned and actual de deadlines and times is that possible? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm the right person to answer that. I think Janice has yeah, 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 I don't know. more uh, information. Uh, that. I, I just wanted to say thanks for for those those asking. Uh, we 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 have uh, integrations in in our backlogs, uh, quite quite many potential integrations and. And we we always need to find the priority to prioritize them. Yeah, we know also uh, the big picture, but uh, but uh, but not yet plans for for of when when it might when it might be implemented. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, uh, Janis, um, this one is definitely for you. Um, are there any data size limitations on this integration? For example, ECBI best practice suggests to have a hundred thousand issues per account. But Tempo will have tons of work logs for a medium to large size organization. How do people handle the performance part of the two systems? Uh, yeah, this is this is correct. We we do recommend this limit of hundred uh, hundred thousand issues per account. So this account you can manage your data in several accounts. But but we have also. Uh, uh, cases when customers have much larger much larger accounts with two or three hundred uh, uh, thousand issues uh, we know yeah work logs are even larger uh, uh, number in the terms of uh, number of records um, um, but uh, yeah uh, this this uh, problematic part is when when you need to implement some very specific use cases uh, if you can cope with the uh, uh, with the standard measures of EZBI, it is uh, very uh, very likely that even larger accounts should work fine. So, some specific uh, custom calculations might 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 lead to to the performance problems. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh, yeah, we uh, have some ideas for 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 uh, better better uh, for improve the. Uh, Performance and 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 yeah, that's what we usually uh, all the time are, are looking for. But uh, uh, it is still possible often to to tune the reports, complex reports, with with some uh, help of support. So you are welcome to ask for for some advice here. Okay, good. Here's a question about projects. The, we have a few overhead projects which we will allocate to other projects based on percentage of work. Does EasyBI allow me to do this either automatically or manually? Does that make sense? Did I phrase that correctly? Uh, I'm not that sure uh, that uh, what is here is overhead projects. 
Right, could be a, a, a group yeah. of projects almost. Uh, we can get back to that question via email if we take a look at it. Yeah, yeah, that that would be perhaps the more more details is need, are needed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, maybe for to jump into the, the discussion here a little bit because uh, we have a lot of questions. I'm not sure if we can getting to all to the bottom of all of them. Uh, but I see one question here that I would also like to have a, a question uh, or an answer to, which I think is very often very commonly asked, is the, is the relationship between story points and locked hours, so uh, or, or even planned effort versus locked hours. Is, is there something that, the, uh, that you can do or have you experienced to, to set up reports like this? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think this uh, this uh, story points is uh, from in the Easy BI when you design your reports in, in Easy BI. Those uh, uh, story points, uh, planet hours act, might look actually the same. Just just you can just switch switch different measures and and the one logic which you have implemented in in uh, one report with story points may also work fine uh, fine by just switching uh, to to other measures so uh, uh, and you can also combine those uh, those uh, story points and hours um, uh, uh, measures in in your calculations so to find out how how much hours are spent on, on, on resolving specific number of story points that that is also possible also possible uh, in, in, in the easy BI reports so very similar to the report that you showed us uh, when you exposed the the, 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 the team who who was uh, spending too much hours on resolved issues um, you could possibly create a similar report on how much hours Spend per 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 story, story point. point. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, that is Great. a very interesting use case, I think, and many many customers asking. Thank you, Jans. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, here's a question uh, related specifically to Tempo and Easy BI. Is it possible to get a report including all the work log details from Tempo, like comments, different time logs, and that sort of thing? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yes. We. we uh, yeah. Well. Uh, first, uh, uh, the short answer may be yes. Yes. It might need a bit of uh, uh, advanced features to use a bit of advanced features of Easy BI. We can uh, add comments. Uh, yeah. Maybe there is not a very very uh, beautiful way how to. Uh, represent this data in, in easy bi tables or in easy bi charts but uh, but we can access uh, uh, most of the workload uh, data uh, and and we can uh, extend uh, this uh, e data model with with uh, with, uh, with workload comments definitely yeah uh, yeah there can be some some limitations where perhaps if some specific apps are used for 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 some additional data yeah okay great um alexander i think maybe you can take the first crack at this one from a current user of built tempo and easy bi when charting planned effort using the time dimension what is the criteria to distribute plan effort in each unit of time is this something that could be customized on the user's side? <laughs> that is probably also a question that I would maybe ask, uh, pass over to Yanis. Um, um, probably nothing uh, that I can that I can uh, answer. But but maybe uh, I have afterwards. I have another question that I right. would like. To uh, uh, sorry, uh, I I I, I'm, I can somehow missed this question, which is from from whom it was from. Yep, uh, from a current user of both Tempo and Easy BI, when charting plan effort using the time dimension, what is the criteria to distribute plan effort in each unit of time? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, this, there is no, uh, no, this is uh, predefined. Uh, this is predefined when you use Tempo Planner. So uh, this planning item, each planning item is created for a specific date. 
So uh, this is there is no no uh, additional thing CCBI is doing with that. So uh, I think uh, if I got under uh, correctly this question, this is just just what you have entered the plan for which date. Then the same date will be it will be present on 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 EZBI, uh, reports. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, question about tempo workload schemes. Um, Janis, just hand this over to Alexander if this is not uh, for you. How can we import tempo workload schemes? Is this possible as a standard functionality or is the API necessary? Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually a very good question. And again, I can't answer that question correctly, but I have a general, maybe also a question to Janis about that. Can we basically, can we basically connect other tempo data like, for example, uh, price rates or, or price tables or cost rates on users or for example in this case workload schemes can we connect it can we connect this kind of data to to uh, to 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 tempo import cube and and uh, report on those on top of uh, on top of things so mm -hmm. for example yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, this uh, this can could could depend you know case by case yes uh, we, we know that uh, we, we do not cover the full 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 functionality of what what uh, what can be done in tempo uh, in our reports so uh, uh, but uh, uh, for instance uh, rates uh, and and cost calculation from the user rates is a typical use case and it usually can be covered uh, with uh, 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 this feature of EZBI, when you can add additional data import on, on top of your your Jira data or or Tempo data, you can have the spreadsheets or or uh, or SQL queries and and uh, import uh, additional data uh, to report uh, to 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 join something. But uh, but uh, uh, this will de depend. Uh, case by case, yeah, if that might be possible. Okay, great. I think I can start answering the next question. Uh, why Tempo doesn't provide reporting out of the box and that you need to either purchase the Tempo reporting JIRA app or use EZBI? So uh, one reason is that it is really nice for users to be able to customize their solutions by taking uh, different apps from the ecosystem, like Janis mentioned in his presentation, uh, it's a very rich, rich ecosystem with lots of apps that you can uh, kind of put together to solve your use case. That being said, we are always working on improving our tempo reporting and there are some exciting things coming up. So stay tuned uh, for that. And I don't know if Alexander or Daniel, you want to add anything to that about tempo reports? Yeah, Olaf, I'll, I'll just um, add a quick comment along the lines of you said. I mean, the, the vendors in the Atlassian market space, they, they typically focus on their core competencies. For us, it's tracking time. For EasyBI, it's reporting. Uh, and the beauty of the ecosystem is that you can integrate these apps seamlessly so it's just one consistent user experience. Um, but as you say, Olaf, yeah, we are looking at just natively improving some of the reporting functionality. Um, so be on the lookout for some developments there. But yeah, we, we do tend to um, let other app vendors uh, develop to their strengths and their expertise. And EasyBI being one of the one of the most um, sort of fe feature-rich and detailed reporting applications. Uh, that is the reason we work very closely with these guys to make sure that those integrations deliver a seamless experience. So uh, it's as if you're reporting within the core application uh, itself. Um, Alexander, any anything to add on that? Uh, yeah, I think you really hit hit uh, hit the nail on the top here. Um, and especially when, uh, of course, I can understand sometimes your frustration when, when you think that you always need another reporting tool. But I can tell you from experience that the needs for reporting are so different between each and single uh, organization or company. It's it's nearly impossible to, to, to fit all of them. And therefore, I found it really, really helpful and very good to, to have tools like, like EasyBuy that, that, that can really do, do the things. And they have much more capabilities uh, that, that we can ever do. I mean, I mean we, we always, you always need to focus on things. Uh, and our focus is clearly on time tracking and doing this uh, well and, and make that uh, 
seamless and painless. Uh, that is our main main focus um, uh, within Tempo. So of course we we deliver some kind of of uh, reports and we always strive of course to to improve those. But but when when it really comes to to um, sophisticated reports, easy buy is the choice number one for sure. And I really I think would like uh, Janis to thank for his uh, awesome presentation and and the very good uh, reports that he showed us. Besides the one very exposed, uh, the team uh, uh, not really doing a good job there. That's that's maybe the thing that you should consider. <laughs> um, but, but for example, uh, all, all these uh, bubble chart reports, uh, this is one of my favorite and, and uh, the planning charts, um, very good. And, and maybe we should also mention maybe, Janis, that, that you report uh, that you support uh, the tempo team functionality. So um, probably yeah. as you know, you you can have certain uh, joining and leaving dates, and then uh, with easy buy you can also take that into consideration. So they have a lot of really good functionality um, that is that is really really useful. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. That is all the time that we have for questions today. We really do appreciate everyone taking the time to join us here in the audience. And a big thank you to Yanis and the team at EasyBI for the preparation and their excellent uh, presentation. Another big thank you to Alexander and Daniel for participating here as well today. Um, there was a question about uh, if there's any material on how to get started with EasyBI and with Tempo, and we'll make sure to include that in our follow-up emails, how to get started with Tempo and how to get started with EasyBI. Uh, but Yanis, any final remarks before we close this session? Well, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks to everyone, and thanks, thanks to uh, Tempo team, and uh, we will definitely review all the questions and try to answer them in emails. And uh, you are welcome to to check our documentation, our our community page, and uh, try out uh, Easy BI and trial version if you haven't yet. So, and yes, contact exactly. support if you have any yes. questions. Same here, and thank you, Alexander and Daniel. Uh, thank you everyone in the audience, uh, stay safe and have a nice rest of the week. <laughs>